today's video, I'm going to review the Ordinary's Argier line solution. Is it Botox in a bottle? Is that even possible? What I hope to do in this video is to give you enough information so that you're able to answer that question yourself based on my research and my own experience. Argier line is a single peptide. It's plant derived that's formulated into a single molecule. Ordinary's Argier line solution 10% is meant to reduce the look of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. When I read that claim, I was very interested, of course. However, cautiously optimistic. Any product that claims those types of results in a topical application, I'm always very skeptical. Two questions then are, why isn't everybody doing it? And two, does it actually work? So to start, what are dynamic fine lines and wrinkles? Well, those are the ones that are caused by repetitive muscle movements. So typically you see laugh lines around your face because hopefully you're smiling. The crow's feet around your eyes, again, from that expression of squinting your eyes. Is crow's feet an expression that's used around the world? Or is that even just a Canadian thing? Let me know in the comments below what you call these lovely things around your eyes. Of course, in your forehead, from the expressions you use throughout the day, uh, this one here or the lines across your forehead, those are really considered what dynamic fine lines and wrinkles are. The repetitive nature of these facial movements means that the skin is naturally folding in these areas repeatedly. I am not saying not to laugh and not to be expressive. I do not think that's the solution to fixing these dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. In fact, these wrinkles really should be seen as a badge of honor. But let's face it, most of us are on the hunt for ways to reduce them. In fact, it's probably why you're watching this video today. And it's precisely why I tried this product in the first place. Our Giraline is often referred to as Botox in a bottle because how it interacts in your skin is supposed to be similar to what Botox does, reducing the movement of those muscles in your skin and therefore reducing the ability of your skin to make that fold and that wrinkle. Really makes sense, doesn't it? But can it actually do that? That is the question. Argiraline is a brand name for acetohexapeptide 3. Now I've talked about other peptide serums from The Ordinary, including the Buffet and The Ordinary's Buffet Plus Copper Peptides, and I'll link those videos below and at the end of this video as well for you to review. Peptides are short chains of amino acids, which are the foundations of collagen and elastin production in the skin, which is why they have fantastic anti-aging properties and also why I include them in my anti-aging skincare routine. The difference between a peptide serum and one that contains Argiraline is Argiraline works to target the nerves, which in turn targets the muscles, which impacts their ability to contract. As I've just explained, if the muscle isn't contracting repeatedly, it's going to lessen the impact of the dynamic fine lines and wrinkles that we see. Essentially, it's working to paralyze the muscles, which is what Botox does. Also stimulating collagen production, which would then mean this product is both a treatment and a preventative measure for anti-aging. Peptides will also have a hydrating effect on the skin, which we know helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles because it's plumping your skin and smoothing out your skin. Problem with many skincare products is there simply is not enough clinical research to support their efficacy. With Argiraline, there is a handful of studies claiming that a 5% or 10% solution will render good results. Without empirical evidence from double-blind, placebo, and controlled trials in human subjects, it's really hard to draw conclusions about its efficacy. Probably the best study was done in 2013 and it featured 60 human subjects. Conclusions were really that despite being safe and somewhat effective, Argiraline's ability to permeate the skin was inadequate, but it caused them to postulate that perhaps Argiraline is better suited to those who have thinner skin. Who here has thinner skin? Because of the molecule size, it didn't necessarily penetrate deep enough in the skin to render the reaction within the muscles to reduce the look of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. People with younger, more youthful skin have a thicker skin, and therefore the molecule size has more difficulty penetrating through the thick layer of skin to get to the muscles underneath. However, they do postulate that those of us with thinner skin, and we'll just call us not mature, not aged, not older, special. Those of us who are special, who have thinner skin, may see results from a product like this because the molecule is able to penetrate deeper into our skin to render the result. 
What the ordinary Argera line 10% solution offers is a lot of anecdotal evidence. If you go on the reviews, there are many, many, many people who notice a big difference in their fine lines and wrinkles from using this product. Fortunately, with skincare, we often have to turn to anecdotal evidence because the clinical research just isn't there to back up the claims. The great thing about the ordinary Argera line 10% solution is that it's affordable. It's, it's worth trying for the cost. It is a watery serum, as you can see here. It's a thin, watery consistency and can layer very easily with other products in your skincare routine. Ordinary suggests that you use this serum in targeted areas. So it's not something that they recommend that you apply all over your face, but that you use it specifically in the areas that need it. So for me, I put it on my laugh lines, around my eyes, and in my forehead, just there. Only need one drop to do that. Little goes a long way. This is a 30 ml bottle and I paid $7.90 Canadian. Since it can easily layer in my routine, works well under makeup, I don't have any pilling or anything like that, especially where I use concealer under my eyes. I use it in any routine that I am not using a vitamin C or a direct acid. It's very difficult for me to say if this product is directly responsible for the reduction of fine lines and wrinkles for me, or dynamic lines and wrinkles, I should say. Being honest with you, because I've incorporated this into my skincare routine, over the last couple of years, lined with other things, including my peptides, my vitamin C's, my retinoid products, I can't really pinpoint that this one did anything. And when I brought it into my skincare routine, I didn't have a YouTube channel. Didn't have the wherewithal to take before pictures, try it and you know document my progression over time. What I will say is one of the first times that I used it, I actually put it all over my face because I didn't know you were supposed to use it as a targeted approach and I could feel the tingling all in my cheeks, in my face, so I definitely knew it was doing something and working. And then I was worried I was gonna have a big reaction to it because I have combination sensitive rosacea prone skin. Thankfully I did not, so it works well for me. I can tell you, I notice a difference if I use this consistently. Other people have said the same thing, that if you use it consistently, you'll see results, but if you stop using, you'll notice that it stops working. And that makes sense if it really is targeting the muscle contraction in your skin, then obviously it's reducing the ability of your skin to even make these wrinkles in the first place. On a completely anecdotal note, this doesn't hold any water for anything, but when I first started implementing this into my routine, I remember my husband commenting and saying, are you doing something different with your skin? He knows I'm a skincare junkie, so it's not out of the ordinary for me to be using something on my skin. But the fact that he had commented on it, and this was the only thing I had implemented into my routine, I was like, oh yes, I am, and I shall continue to use it. Is this Botox in a bottle? I don't think so. I don't think it's possible that a topical application of any product can render a result anywhere similar to a needle being injected into the muscle of your skin. I just don't believe that's possible. But is it a good part of my anti-aging skincare routine? I say yes, in combination with the other elements of my skincare routine, a great addition. For the price, I think it's a lovely way to introduce something to target the look of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles without having to go into something more invasive like Botox. Ordinary's Argera Line Solution 10% is going to remain as part of my anti-aging skincare routine. What about you? Comment below if you've either tried it or you're convinced to try it or not. Either way. Just let me know. Until next time, take a look at my other videos on peptide serums from The Ordinary, how they too can be part of your anti-aging routine.